Good morning. Lovely to have you here if you are indeed joining me live. If you are watching the replay, it's um, a looking forward to perhaps hearing some comments, feedback, or even questions. If you would like to send them through, I'm always very happy to listen and to find out what's been going on in your world. I'm Valerie Ling. I happen to be a clinical psychologist. Um, however, I also happen to be a human being. So I am a mom. I own a business. I'm also a, a wife of a clergy man. Today is Friday. It is technically a day off. I call it soft rest. It's not a hard rest. The practice is still very much open. I'm not on annual leave. However, Friday is typically a day when I just uh, clock off for um, at least half a day before I have family come back home at about three o'clock. And as it is, the dog has been sent off for um, his grooming appointment my son who is doing his HSC this year uh, we had a bit of a um, a weird night last night so he was up and uh, needed a lift to school that was unusual and just had him at the door saying mom are you busy and that was about eight o'clock do you think you could take me to school and then I sat back and just did stock take of where I am today. I'm typically someone on a day off. I prefer to actually step out of the house because so much of what I do, and I'm sure it's the same with you, is sitting around on a computer or a phone or an iPad or an Apple Watch and you are you are just frozen to your seat and you're not moving very much. So typically it is about going out. Today, however, I sat on my bed and I just did a whole stock take and realized, wow, uh, I'm pretty tired this week. I was chatting with some friends yesterday, I had a great time on the podcast yesterday and, you know, I think made new friends. Here's to hoping that there will be many more connections made. And there was something that I said on the podcast that after we were having a chat, and that is when you're when you've got the capacity to do more and you also have that mental mindset that you have to do more, you can totally transfer that from goal directed things for work and performance into how you take care for yourself. And generally it's one of two reasons and often both reasons firing off at the same time. One is because we start to feel guilty that we have a pause, that we have space, that we're stopping. So we feel guilty and so we think, well, then we've got to be productive in our rest or productive in our stopping. And the second thing is we're just not used to having space and there's a natural tendency and an urge to actually fill it all up. Here's a challenge I want to give you today. Have a, have a think about this one and actually really try it out. I want you to leave your phone at home. Take your driver's license, if that is what you now have on your phone. Take your credit cards, take your bank cards, take important things that are now all living in your phone. And I want you to leave your phone behind, okay? I would love for you to step out. And then what I would like you to do is just observe the number of times when you're at a queue or waiting for your coffee that you have an urge to actually look at the phone because you probably will find just like me, we have been conditioned to fill up pauses and spaces with grabbing something to occupy our attention. So I would love for you to observe that because I certainly know that that urgent impulse is in me, which is why I now wear a smartwatch most of the time because I can feel that impulse. And you know, that creeps in really easily as well when you've just had a micro break from those patterns. So for a period of time in uh, Sydney, Australia, we had to carry our phones wherever we went because we had to scan the QR codes, which is really annoying. I'm like, what if you don't have a smartphone? Anyway, that was the way that we had to do it. And so though I'd have had had this lovely break from carrying my phone with me wherever I went, because the Apple Watch just, just did the job for me, I had to continue my to take the phone up with me. And do you know what? I actually got sore thumbs again 
which is a problem that I have from the phone, my screen use went way up, my sleep got disrupted, and I was back into that pattern of grabbing, scanning, grabbing, scanning, grabbing, scanning in any, every small space. I since thankfully uh, COVID is a little bit more manageable here in Australia at the moment and wherever you're tuning in from um, we as a family we do pray for the countries around us for COVID and I hope you are okay here in Australia we have been very blessed that that's not so much of an issue right now and I've started to leave my phone at home right now and I'm noticing those urges they're just coming back so that second that second thing then if we've just been conditioned not to have space anymore just means that we can really get very very easily trapped into filling in it with all kinds of noisy clutter back into that space why don't you try just doing small things by just listening to your body running through it right now if you're listening with me just do a scan right how does your how does your mind feel does it feel clogged how did the muscles in your body feel right now? Go from your neck down to your shoulder, all the way down to your toes. How's that feeling? How does your uh, tummy feel? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? How does your bladder feel? <laughs> You've been holding some things in that you really need to let out. Where are your energy levels right now? Do you feel sleepy? Do you feel tired? Do a scan. Right, emotionally, what are you noticing? Feeling angry, frustrated, lonely, upset, disconnected. And just do small things. Have a sleep, have a nap, eat something. Don't make a big deal out of it that it has to fit into a food pyramid or some latest nutritional fad. If you're kind of feeling a little bit rigid and, and stuck, do a bit of a stretch. Don't go overboard. Don't sign up for a yoga class and say, well, now I'm committed to a term of that. If you feel like you need to move, don't sign up to run a marathon or the gym right now. Small things, small things. Remember the days if you are of a certain age where we didn't have these devices that continuously sparked our brain to have to keep going to keep. Could you remember those days? What would we do? We'd actually have to expand the things that we do and we actually had to be realistic, right? So today to try to get Teddy, my cavoodle to the groomer, I no longer remember how to get to places right i used to have to study a map write it down go the same path over and over again and it just took more time right now it's like the reminder comes up and i think oh my gosh teddy needs to be there by 8 30 a.m son needs to get to school as well I can't even gather myself to sit down to remember how to get to that place. And it's like only seven minutes or something from my house. And so I'm driving and I'm talking to Siri. Hey, Siri, can you find the da 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 groomer? Siri goes dead. And then I'm like, ah, what's the next? It's so harassed. And the only person doing that to myself is me. Small things. Take a stock take. Just do the best that you can. And get off the digital treadmill today even if you can do it for 30 minutes your brain and your body will thank you for it take care